Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today we joining you joining me from a slightly different conditions, different scenery. Today we in my living room. Why? Uh, well, it's quite cold outside. It's sub-zero uh, temperatures. It's like minus five, minus minus six. And to warm up my little garage to uh, operating temperature, it's nearly impossible when it's this cold outside. Uh, so I've got a relatively simple project today to paint, pinstripe this beautiful helmet, and that's. Uh, is enough to do from a privacy of my own living room. The thing with working in the uh, sub-zero conditions, uh, minus five, minus six, obviously it's not minus six in the garage in my workshop, but it's close to uh, zero, just above zero. And um, the paint consistency changes. The medium I'm painting on needs to be uh, the right temperature as well, room temperature ideally. Obviously, the paint will flow, react differently, and in really cold conditions, will not even stick properly to the to the job. And obviously, will come off later on. And uh, that's not the way forward. Absolutely, we need to have the uh, right working conditions. And uh, that's a simple enough project, you know. I'm not spraying anything. There's no overspray. There's very little smell coming from my paints over here, and I can do it from a uh, inside my living room. So just quickly to sum it up, what I've got here is a really nice actually piece of kit. It's an HJC um, FG15 carbon helmet. Really like that helmet actually. Um, so what the owner wants me to do on it, it's metallic, metallic gold, couple of numbers and some pinstriping to uh, tie it all in, uh, to blend it in uh, the whole piece. Uh, not too much, nothing over the top, just a little bit of custom art, you know. It's a really nice way of uh, customizing your helmet for really not a lot of money. <laughs> to prepare the helmet like this for work, all I need to do, uh, give it a good clean, um, make sure there's no residue, no wax, no grease on it, degrease it obviously, make sure it's completely degreased, de-waxed, whatever that is on it, very clean surface, and um, that's pretty much it. I'm ready to put pinstriping my enamel paint on top of that. I don't need to clear it on top because pinstriping paint, the animal paints, they dry rock solid, just like on the motorcycle. You do it on top of the surface, leave it to cure, and the job is done. Right, I will stop talking now. I will drink my beer and I'll do some fucking pinstriping, shall I? <laughs> Cheers, guys. I'll catch you soon. Hell, that's good.
go guys, a uh, simple enough project like this complete from the privacy of my own living room. Uh, it's really not that difficult to complete that pinstriping uh, request, especially on the small items like crush helmets. Um, originally we discussed a second color to this mix, to this theme, but I got here and I think I'm going to leave it as it is, because we can always add a second color, it's going to be very difficult to remove the second color if it's too much. But I kind of like it, the way it is, it's simple enough, it's kind of classy, you know, the black carbon gloss and the metallic gold, I think it really goes well together. I think extra colors, you know, may uh, be a little bit overkill uh, to it. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is, see what the owner thinks of that. Um, we can always add extra mix to this party, see what happens. Well, that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a beer. Rock hard and I'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.